Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless. Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing all right? Today is Sunday, May 26, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 147. In today's show, we will cover asthma, pickle, happy. Let's go. In My Life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in the powerful CHUMP studios. Brought to you by our good friends over at Reliable Diamond Tool. Ready2.com, R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to go back to 1964. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a few things that you may not know about me. I'm a lifelong asthmatic. 64, I was 8. And I believe that's when my mom said that uh, they diagnosed my asthma as chronic asthma. So basically, you know, you hear the story about kids, uh, they grow out of their asthma. Hey, I had asthma when I was a kid, but I outgrew it. So what that means is they had bronchial asthma, and as they grow older and their lungs develop, the asthma goes away. Or you can have chronic asthma, which means your lungs are uh, screwed up, and it's that way for life. I don't know if you notice, when I do the show, sometimes I'm out of breath. Sometimes I pause for a second or two without you knowing it, trying to catch my breath. Asthma is an ugly thing. You know, the, the two descriptions that I've heard best over the years is it's like having an elephant set on your chest. You can't breathe in because you can't get the air out. And it's like being a fish. If you catch a fish and you throw him up on the bank and he's flopping around there trying to get to that water, you have asthma, you're trying to get air. So I spent uh, close to a year of my life in a hospital, a couple of stints, six months at a time, in the East, what was then called the East Texas Chest Hospital over in Tyler. And when I was 16, they told my mother when I was there in the hospital that I'd never lived to be 30. Well, I more than doubled that. One time I had to have a procedure, so they wanted me to get uh, uh, an MRI. They came back and said, oh my God, you got lung cancer. Sent me to a doctor, a lung cancer doctor, and he said, you got lung cancer. I went to my asthma doctor that I've had for 50 years. She said, you don't, you just have lungs screwed up so bad that uh, they think it's cancer. Well, it turns out it wasn't cancer, it just screwed up lungs. So, if I seem to labor when I'm talking, and I, if I seem short of breath, it's cause I am. Hey, let's check that truck, do something nice. How about that Rick's Beer Joint sign? Let's turn it around. Rick's Beer Joint. Mom's Kitchen. All right, let's check that truck. Check that truck, you been, woo, woo! Look at these. These are those uh, shoes that my friend Jim Lips Wilson got me. So they're black high tops with paint splatters on it. Black toe, black sole, no racing stripes, two vent holes, black and white logo, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me all, these really are some handsome chucks. Okay, so I'm in the bar today. 
this bar is different than most bars you know that Coors guitar has been hanging there for 25 years Rick's groovy logger on tap my buddy that runs the place that makes it outfit brewing was here tonight for a uh, wedding reception he got married today congratulations Zach See the pause? I'm catching my breath. Mm hmm now you know. Oh, Jack. So, we do a lot of business with our good friends that we love, Southwest Airlines. We love Southwest Airlines. I ain't kidding either. We do. So, this is the bar. You know, uh, a lot of people sit outside. Two and a half acres. Shuffleboard, pool tables, video machines. Fun place. When I got here this morning at 1.30, there was a party going on. Let's see what my grandma was doing 75 years ago today. So you got that there. What's today? The 26th. May 26, 1949. We wash today. And I also iron. Dick sold some pigs. We went to the show. My grandma and grandpa were farmers for much of their life. And I never knew better people than them. And I so miss them every day. Dad joke, did you hear about the famous pickle? He's a really big deal. Deal. What's the deal, pickle? Get off the couch a motivational minute. Sometimes it's best to keep the good news to yourself because not everyone is genuinely happy for you. What does that mean, Rick? Fearless, fearless? That means people that pretend to be happy for you may not really be. That means keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. I think it's human nature for people to want to measure themselves against other people. Don't do that. Don't do that. You do your thing, like let everybody else do their thing. I'm leaving you with this. Did you know that Chihuahuas are the smallest dog breed? And that, boys and squirrels, is the rest. So, when I was six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I used to sleep with the Chihuahua because back then the old wives' tale was if you if a boy sleeps with the Chihuahua, the Chihuahua will take the asthma from the child. What really happens is the child gets older, his lungs develop, the asthma goes away. But the two. Uh, chihuahuas that I had for years were uh, Pudgy and Taco. My pop named those dogs. Pudgy and Taco. My brother Rand used to get so jealous because oh, Pudgy and Taco slept with me. Alright, Rick Fearless Fearless. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Check out my merchandise shop like this shirt, Strokers Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. We're a family business. We fight and struggle and pray and work our butts off every day. I'd appreciate a little support. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless. I, get, I, I gotta get out of here. I got a lot of stuff to do. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow.